The Jordan 1 lost and found madness is not over. In fact, it's worse. People are getting their pairs with mold on them. Nike canceling orders, backdooring still going on. There's so much going on with the Air Jordan 1 lost and found. And I have some pairs to unbox and hope there's no mold on my pairs. I don't know what I would do if I got a pair with mold. That would be disgusting. That is gross. It would turn me off from the sneaker. We have a big problem if I have a pair with mold. That is crazy. So I got some DMs from some more family members. Shout out to you guys. These DMs are crazy, mind blowing to me and I need to share them with the more family. So this first DM is from Brian. Brian hit me up and told me he got a pair of Lost and Founds on the Nike Sneakers app. And take a look at his pair. There is so much mold on this pair, it's gross. It looks like somebody dropped an egg almost on the shoe and didn't wipe it off. That is so much mold. He told me he didn't even want to touch them. He didn't even want to take them out all the way. That is gross. And take a look at this video. This video really shows it. It's nasty. We have to watch this. This is crazy. So he's showing that they're actually from Nike. And look how much mold as soon as he takes it out. Oh my goodness. That is so gross. That's obviously a health hazard. Oh man. That is so gross. Nike, what happened? Is it the material? Is it the cracking material? What's going on? Why is there mold on these sneakers? How long have you held, held them for? Like in the warehouse? That's crazy. Absolutely insane. I have another DM. Shout out to Acebug80 over here. Guys, check out these pictures he sent me. He told me he just got his pair in today and my pair has mold on them. Take a look at these crazy picks. Crazy. Not as bad as I think the other one, but still, nonetheless, there's mold. There's even mold on the sock liner. That is insane. Nike, what the hell is this? What kind of situation is this? Where there's mold on the sneakers? Are they getting wet? Are they getting damaged? What is going on? Is it the material? What is going on that these sneakers are having mold and you have to cancel people's orders because there's mold on them? What? That is crazy. So what's happening is you're seeing people getting very mad at Nike right now for having a nice W and it get ruined by moldy sneakers. So someone reached out. Um, it was Ace Book. He told me that Nike was only offering a 10% discount, which is crazy, absurd. That's nuts. That is crazy. What they should do is take the shoe back and send another pair. Are they going to? Of course not. Of course not. That's nuts. I got two pairs from Finish Line. I have a men's. I have a grade school. I did open up the boxes already, but I did not take the shoes out. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start with the grade school pair. I got exclusive access on Finish Line. I got exclusive access for in-store. Was not able to get through the queue fast enough. What else is new? Right? What else is new? But I was able to get through on the ship to me option the next day. And they finally came in. Well, they came in actually pretty quick. So let's open these up. And hope we have no mold. Because if we do, oh boy, I'm going to rant. I'm going to go on a tangent. And I do not want to do that. So yeah, hopefully no mold on either pair of my lost and founds. I do have a grade school and a men's. And it looks like, yeah, this pair looks good. So Right here, we have a grade school pair, and I don't see any mold on this shoe. This is the left shoe. Very nice. Let's make sure we have no mold here on the right shoe. I don't see any mold. Okay, good. No mold on the grade school pair. We are good. Giveaway for the Lost and Found Air Jordan 1. All you guys need to do to enter this free giveaway is like this video, smash that subscribe button, subscribe to Affordable Shoe Review. His link is down below in the description and leave a comment. Let me know your size in the Jordan 1 
lost and found. For a bonus entry, you guys can follow me over on Instagram, dannymore2369. Also, be sure to follow Affordable Shoe Review and then DM me proof that you subscribed. Make sure you guys shoot me that DM over on Instagram because I'm gonna be picking the winner for my Instagram DMs. I'll be picking the winner at the end of the month. Good luck on the Jordan 1 Lost and Found giveaway. Sneakerhead Soul Premise sneaker bags are now 50% off for Black Friday. When you guys click my link down below in the description, use my code Danny Moore at checkout, you'll get 50% off your entire order. Soul Premise bags are made for sneakerheads when you're traveling. They hold your sneakers when you're traveling. As you guys can see, I have five to six pairs of sneakers. I also have room on the bottom of the bag as well. They have tons of different bags, all different colors, styles. All these bags are TSA approved. You guys are gonna fall in love with Soul Premise Bags. Click my link down below in the description. Use my code Danny Moore for 50% off for Black Friday. The sale starts now. You guys have some time, so make sure you guys go cop your Soul Premise Bags. Thank you, Soul Premise, for sponsoring this video. Getting a little nervous over here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Seeing these stories, seeing that this is real is crazy. You know, sometimes in the sneaker game, we do get fake news. We get fake things that go around and spread that, you know, who knows if it's really true. But when it comes to mold, how are you gonna f put mold on your shoe? How are you gonna fake that? That's crazy. So yeah, we got one pair of lost and founds. Oh, the grade school do come with a receipt. I wasn't sure if grade school did. They do. So grade school receipt right there. That's awesome. So let's take a look at the men's pair. I am really hoping there's no mold on this next pair. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys actually got a pair with mold or any defects, major defects. I have noticed that there are cracking um, differences between pair to pair. That's one thing I've been noticing. But other than that, that's about it. I hope there's no mold on this pair. Let's see. All right, I really hope not. We got a 10 and a half right here. Finish line, thank you for this nice, awesome W. I needed these for retail, man. After paying a very high price resale, I needed them for retail. So let's take a look. Hopefully, we got no mold. Please, no mold. Please, no mold. Please, no mold. And I'm not seeing any mold. Okay. All right. I'm not seeing mold on this shoe. This is the right shoe. So here they are, the lost and founds. I'm not seeing any mold, which is awesome. I do not want to see mold. Crazy. Thankfully, my order was not canceled. I did, I did see these apps, Finish Line, Full Locker, everybody canceling orders. Every retailer, for the most part, was canceling orders for some reason. And luckily, mine did not. And I don't have mold on my pair either, thankfully. Thankfully, no mold on my lost and found Jordan 1s. It's absolutely crazy to me to actually see mold on these sneakers. I feel bad for you if you actually have mold on your sneakers. Imagine taking a W on the lost and found Jordan 1, the most hyped shoe of the year, and you get them in and there's mold. Crazy to me, mind blowing to me that that's actually a thing from Nike. Like you can have mold on your shoes, what bro? That's crazy. Thankfully, no mold. Thankfully, no problems. They got here. Whew. Finally, some lost and more lost and founds. I love these. This this is a great sneaker. Sneaker of the year. Jordan one of the year for me. It's everything, all of the above. It's the shoe of the year, and I'm happy as hell. Lost and founds for retail. Thankfully, no mold. Let me know if you guys have any problems with your lost and found. Air Jordan 1s. Let me know if Nike or any other retailer actually canceled your order, which is crazy. Crazy that that actually is a thing to actually take a W and then get your order canceled because of mold. That's crazy. So let me know what you guys think about the Lost and Founds. Let me know if you actually copped the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. And to be honest with you, now that pairs are coming out there with mold, expect prices to go up because that's just going to make people mad. People are gonna be mad. Now, to get the mold off, I think you can. However, I wanna know, guys, leave a comment. If you had a pair with mold, were able to get the mold off, would you still wear that pair? If the mold is off and it completely comes off, would you still wear them? I personally probably would, as long as it's off completely. 
If you have a parrot mold, you have to be careful wiping them down. You can't just use a regular wipe. Mold does grow back. Keep that in mind. It does grow back. You have to kill it and then remove it. Not just remove it. You didn't kill it. So make sure you guys take care of the moldy sneakers if you have them. I can't believe I'm saying this. This is absolutely crazy. Let me know what you guys think about the Lost and Found Jordan 1s. Absolutely fire. Straight fire. Let me know if you got your order canceled. I'm sorry if you got your order canceled. I really feel for you. That's terrible. Man, I feel for you guys. I really do if you got your order canceled. That's terrible. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine that. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Lost and Found Sneaker of the Year, Jordan 1 of the Year. Let me know your thoughts. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop. We're always dropping that fire. Straight fire. The Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found is fire. Straight fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.